For thousands of years, the computer was basically an analog device. We used sticks, beads, uh, levers, gears, pulleys, cranks in order to do simple calculations. That was the first era of computation. And that meant that we could keep track of things, which we couldn't do before. Then World War II hit, and all of a sudden we had to break the German code. And that required using electricity and using all sorts of vacuum tubes to crack the German code. And then we went into the second era where we compute on digital and binary. So zeros and ones, zeros and ones. Now we're entering the third era, a natural progression from gears, levers, pulleys, to vacuum tubes and transistors, and then to atoms. This is the final step in the evolution of the computer. When we compute on atoms, these are atomic computers, nothing more powerful than that.